and Michigan is one of those teams year in, year in and year out that's uh, very strong and, and this year obviously they're off to a great start. Uh, I think it'll be great to go to Yost uh, for our players. It's a, a great environment there to play in as a player. So uh, we're looking forward to going down there and uh, competing in, in two hard-fought games. Well, you, when you look at their team this year, they've got outstanding forwards. Uh, the skill and speed and size that their forwards uh, have really presents some problems for uh, your team defense. So we're going to have to be really good defensively. And, and obviously their defense, uh, they're young there. They've got some freshmen playing, but uh, they're very talented freshmen. But uh, that's an area that we're going to have to try and expose. And uh, they've got a couple of young goalies also. I know Zach Nagelford has, has played extremely well for them lately. So I think they've just got a real good team from uh, top to bottom, a solid team. And we're going to have to play our best hockey to have a chance against them. You know, hear good things about Michigan from uh, like the Lower Peninsula, like the state Michigan rivalry, and that's where I grew up playing. So uh, I've seen one game at Yost, and it was a pretty uh, good environment, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, I feel like I'm still, you know, adjusting after, like, you know, I said, like, kind of like a freak accident like that, you know. Friday I was a little weary, just coming back, a little nervous, you know, throughout the first period, I think, and then it kind of the nerves uh, kind of settled down a bit. But um, I feel like I'm getting better, you know, you can always get better in practice and in games, and uh, just got to go from there. Everyone's excited. I mean, it's a, it's a big school. Uh, it's going to be a great arena to play in. Everyone's excited. I'm excited as well uh, to experience it. Um, and uh, I know we're going down there for a reason. It's a, it's a business trip. I mean, we just got to be playing solid D like we have been. Uh, obviously, on the road, got to have solid goaltending, so that's another key factor. Um, but uh, yeah, we just got to make sure we're working hard in the D zone, uh, and the rest will fall in place. Well, they, they're a transition team, and they're a, an explosive team. So you, you, they get if they get one, they can get three in a hurry. So I think we're going to have to go in there and make sure we're ready to go from the start, and um, you know, and just just sort of try and take them and take the crowd out of the game because their crowd's fantastic. So. Uh, but just to limit our turnovers, they're a great transition team. They have a lot of speed, and if we're turning the puck over, uh, we're going to be in trouble. So, and we have to play in their zone. You know, they're they're, they're good offensive players, but uh, like any teams, if we can play in their zone more than we do in our zone, we have a chance. We have to come out uh, right off the opening draw. I mean, Northern when we lost there Friday, they came out with a lot of energy, and we didn't have any. Uh, we didn't respond quite as well as we wanted to. But Saturday we came out right out the gate and took it to them and gave them uh, no chance. That's one of the reasons uh, I wanted to schedule the games, is to give our fans, uh, you know, and our alumni in, in lower Michigan, uh, lower southeast Michigan, a chance to come out and, and see the team play. We, do, we don't have an opportunity to play there very often, so, uh, other than GLI. So, oh yeah, we'll have some fans there, and, and they'll be loud, and, uh, and I'm sure we'll hear them.